All right, so uh, again, the AP exam this year is uh, uh, kind of like cut into only two parts. You have the uh, interview section, speaking part, and you have the uh, cultural presentation part. And I guess this random guy, random people, hi, uh, maybe, maybe you're taking AP too. Are you? Let me know. Uh, is my mouse working? No, it's not. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can, I want to connect the, the mouse to to my laptop. It's easier to reach. Should have tested when I was waiting. All right, it's not working. Why? All right, let's start. So um, the interview part we have done so far on the AP Classroom, they are all kind of like a, a, what is called job interview, sort of. They are, you are applying for something, you're going to tell something about it, uh, about yourself, and uh, you're going to uh, say why you are qualified, and then there are some uh, things you uh, need to explain uh, that is more like this job specific. So I think, uh, you know, as we do more of that, a lot of the, like, you know, we get m a better idea what kind of uh, what kind of uh, uh, stuff we can talk about. So, anyways, let's get to it. Uh, hold on a second. Epic for I didn't connect the computer to the. One second, I need to connect the uh, the computer sound to the. Uh, I'll be right back. Uh, I can't find a cable. Let me see. What can I do? Maybe I can just stream it to you guys. Okay, now I have to admit that I'm actually technology technologically challenged. <laughs> Couldn't pull that through. Oh, let me see which one. This one. On. Okay. Sorry about that. You will have a conversation with Liu Feng Mian, the assistant director of a Chinese language summer camp, about your application for the position of art teaching assistant. Hold on, I actually need to hear it, otherwise, I wouldn't even know what you're talking about. Hmm. What is a quick way to. One second, I'll be right back. I actually need to find that cable. Hello, I am back. Let's see if this is going to work. Can I hear?
position of our teaching assistant. Sound output headphone. That's correct. Oh. Okay. Position of our teaching assistant. Yay! Fixed it. That was embarrassing. All right. Sorry about that. Let's restart. You will have a conversation with Liu Feng Mian, the assistant director of a Chinese language summer camp, about your application for the position of art teaching assistant. All right. Again, job ac application, position of a teaching assistant, stuff like that. Okay. So, who want to do the first one, Matthew or Christina? Anybody? Want to do it? I volunteer, Matthew. Oh, okay. Matthew, you're going to go first. I can't even see everything. Alright, Matthew. What do, I, what do I do? Please introduce introduce yourself. I, I can't see the whole screen though. What do you mean? I can only see part of the something me and the assistant director of a Chinese language and right. then I can't see anything until the position of our teaching assistant. Oh, you don't need to see anything. It's just like a like a a, a a a Windows Media Player, you're supposed to like hear it, like a conversation, and then uh, you're supposed after you hear it, you respond. Oh, uh, got it. All right, sorry, it's my bad. You're in conversation, so you probably don't know the format very well. So let's do that again. I'll just play the audio, and then after that, you have twenty seconds to respond. Christina, you should have volunteered yourself. All right, Matthew, got it? Yeah. Okay, so let's do that again. Okay, so let's... Uh, I couldn't hear it. You couldn't hear it? Yeah, there was like I don't no hear anything. Thing. You don't... All right, that's the... Oh, I see. I see. Sorry about that, that's my bad. Can you hear it now? Yeah. Okay, so I'll play that again, okay, Matthew? Get ready. Okay, so all right, time is up. All right, so you did well. The first part is exactly what I was talking about. If you follow the, the previous slides, which is kind of like try to reuse some part of the question as, a, as, <laughs> as your response. So you don't have to respond more, right? So Christina, you want to give it a try? Give, give, give Matthew, show him how it's supposed to be done. Um, I think he's better than me. Oh, come on. You're, no, actually, you're actually taking an exam, Christina. <laughs> you put me in conversation. All right, Christina. Go, go, go. Please, in the job of the assistant director, please Christina? Um, Start. 你好,我想参加你的夏令营,因为我从小的时候就知道你们的夏令营,今年我18岁能加入你们的夏令营。Uh, 
Yeah, that was very good. All right, so that was very good. That's exactly what I was looking for. All right, make up something and uh, on the fly, and then uh, just just uh, you know elaborate, keep talking. Um, you had about uh, uh, five to six minutes ish left, right? So that's that's the reason that I was I was saying like you should try to get two uh, elaboration, two reasons. So one is that uh, you say that from uh, uh, that was excellent. Uh, so that was perfect elaboration. And then, you know, when you're saying that, try to think about the second reason. Maybe like, okay. oh, I'm going to go to university, stuff like that. Okay. Right? All the job interview you can use, say, like, you know, I want to get a good job experience. I think it will help me to get a job. I know your team, your team is very good. So I want to get a job, et cetera. So that's like, you know, pretty universal. All right, that was very good. Um, let's go to the second one. 你为什么会对这个职位感兴趣? All right. 你为什么会对这个职位感兴趣? So during the exam, you're actually going to just hear it one second, I think. 为什么会对这个职位感兴趣? Matthew, you want to try? Start uh, now. 我对这个职会感兴趣，因为我以前从我的朋友和家人听说过。I uh, don't know what else. Or just one. 呃，还有这里离我的家挺近的，所以很方便。Yes, uh, yes, very good. All right, yeah. So you're getting you're getting the hang of it. Uh, so you make something up, all right? Whatever reason that you think, ah, oh, I've heard your company. I think your Flattering them. Uh, in general, during the uh, those kind of stuff, like you know, you want to be positive. And then in the end, you come up with a second reason, all right? So I guess for you, you just like need to get more used to that, and then uh, you know, come up the second reason a little bit quicker on the fly, all right? And it doesn't really matter what the reason is. Okay, as long as you have something to talk about, then you are good. Now, so that's a that's a good reason, right? Very simple, but uh, you know, get you something to talk about. Uh, so that was pretty good. So I'm gonna skip Christina. Uh, next one, Christina, get ready. All right, so for this one, it's very tricky. You don't want to actually fall into the trap to specifically talk, talk about Chinese art. All right, you want to say something general. All right, Christina, let's give it a Wait, try. Wait, can you play it again? I couldn't hear the end. Oh, sorry. 你对中国绘画有什么了解? 你最喜欢的中国艺术家是谁? 为什么? All right, so let's go. Uh, Wait, I don't know any Chinese artists, though. <laughs> That's exactly the trap. You're not supposed to be talking about Chinese artists. All right, so I'm going to cancel this. All right, so let me repeat again. This is a very tricky question. Most people, when they hear it, they're going to talk they, like, you know, okay, I'm going to answer the question. I'm gonna provide a like good answer, and uh, that's what uh, what we are trained for. For the for this specific task, however, all right, they don't really. I mean, like you know, I mean, if you know, of course, that's what's gonna be the best. You can talk about uh, Chinese art, Chinese artist. Like, who knows any Chinese artist? Like painting, uh, you know, maybe. The teacher covered this. We didn't cover that in our class. We talked about Jian Zhi and Ku Shu Lan. Maybe that's something relatable. But other than that, uh, I don't know if any Chinese teacher is going to actually specifically talk about Chinese painters. Um, so, so what you want to do is try to stay something general. Right? I think we had one of those type of questions before. So this is what I uh, would probably say. Uh, let me hear the question again. Alright, so 
，为什么？啊、uh, ，我对中国绘画有一些了解。我在中文课上的时候，我们的老师会常常给我们看一些中国的绘画，我非常的喜欢。我觉得啊， uh, 我想学更多的中国关于中国绘画的东西。啊、uh, ，中国的绘画的艺术家我知道的不多，但是有机会的话，我想去认识一下。All right, stuff like that. Speech one hundred. 嗯 ，I mean, like you know, did I say anything like particularly difficult? Did I include any specific artist, anything specific about the art genre? No, right? So that's that's like session experience. No, 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 no. Should I hold hold on? Re-enter password. Ah,、uh, why? <laughs> What is my password? Hopefully they don't take me to the main page. All right, we're right back. Okay, good. All right, so I think like this is the trickiest part. Okay, um, all right, what is this exam? AP Chinese Language and Culture. Okay, so if you have a question that you couldn't really provide a lot of cultural answer, then you should at least try your best to provide the language part to show that you can speak Chinese well. Um. So giving a non-answer type of answer is better than don't say anything, right? I don't know if you're gonna give full credit if you give a response like mine, like not actually saying a Chinese artist, but it's better than just like sit there and like oh I don't know anything and like you know feel really bad about your performance and it's gonna probably affect your performance later on. Uh, during the exam as well, because like oh I messed up and like a lot of times people is gonna like, what's the word? What's the word when you like when you're performing like extremely poorly? Choking is that is that what? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Is that choking? I think there are better words to use. No, I I learned it from the badminton team. Like you know, when I play the game, they keep losing points. Like he's choking. Oh, that's that's because maybe someone was winning at first, and then they were winning by a lot. But yeah, all of a sudden they started losing. Yeah,、oh. yeah, yeah. So I mean, like I guess it's like you know, if you get stuck on that one specific question and you don't have a good strategy to answer it. To boost your confidence, probably like you know, there's a lot of psychological things going on during the exam. Probably it's gonna, you're gonna feel bad, and it's gonna affect your performance later on. So that's not what we want. So again, you know, question number three is an extremely valuable question for practice, so that during the exam, you know, you need to get creative and get the answers、um, creatively, so that you don't have to specifically answer. The question provide some response that is related to the question, but it not specifically providing a lot of information. That is an art. All right, let's move on to the next one. 你以前教过别人画画吗？如果教画画的老师有事不能来，你该怎么代替他教 ？All right, so who wanna go, Matthew? No, no, no. Chris, Christina, Christina, you kind of you、mm-hmm. skipped the last question. Okay. All right, so let's go. 你以前教过别人画画吗？如果教画画的老师有事不能来，你该怎么代替他教 ？One second, let's start. 嗯、uh, ，我教过我的表妹画画。因为他在学校里要画画，但是他不会，所以我要教他怎么画。呃，如果画画的老师不能来，我可以帮他教他的学生画他们想画的东西。Perfect, excellent. All right, that's the point. You're all set. All right, so you know, doesn't have to be real. Like you don't necessarily have a cousin. <laughs> right, but it's a perfect answer, Matthew. How does that sound? Does it sound really good? That was an easy question. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. I don't think that's a easy question. I think, you know, it's a, I don't know. It's a, it's another form of art, like to, to be able to provide, provide responses, like come up with those kind of things. All right. So that was very, very good, Christina. That was very, very good. All right. Let's move on to the next one. Next one, Matthew. Let's get ready. 在夏令营期间，要求你的工作时间比较灵活，请你告诉我一周里你哪几天可以来上班？That's an easy question, Matthew. Let's get started. Um，一周里我基本上每天都有时间，但是如果可以的话，我希望星期天可以。因为 All right, time's up. All right, so uh, you're getting the hang of it. So that's very good. Um, you again, like you know, as we like you know, Christina probably have heard me talk about the exilient times. Your answer, you need to have layers of information. All right. So the first layer is the first response. 什么时间都可以 Okay, okay, or You can actually say like you know this or that day, but more specifically, which gonna take a little bit longer.、Um, and then after that, you add it on. 可是但是 transition. All right. So first layer all good. Second layer of information is that oh, but I don't. I prefer not to work on those days. And then you should try to get the elaboration in, because you like you know for this type of question, the point is not the answer. The point is the elaboration and show that you can speak Chinese. So after you say like, 我希望周末星期天不要去 um, yes, that's a golden opportunity for elaboration. You can say, 因为周末我会帮我的妈妈做家务，我要帮她煮饭，啊，洗衣服 stuff like that. Okay, so so that's like you know a second layer of information. Right there, and then if you were if you get better later on, you might be able to squeeze in a third layer of information.、Uh, maybe you can say like you know, 但是啊、uh, ，我周一有很多时间，所以我想每个周一都来 ，right? All right. So the last one. Let's go back to Christina. Okay. 看起来。你住的地方离这里比较远，你打算怎么过来上班呢 ？That's an easy one. Let's go, Christian. 呃、uh, ，你的夏令营离我家人没关系，因为我每天可以坐公车去，或者我的父母可以，如果他们不用上班，可以用开车带我去你们的夏令营。All right, so that was very, very good. Again, first part: if there are anything you can reuse, any information you can reuse in your response, use it, right? Because it's it's in the question format. It's what they provided. It's gonna be like a perfect Chinese, and you won't make any mistake if you can just repeat that and then add your question. 你们的夏令营离我的家很远，没关系。Like you know, that's a golden touch.、Um, And then you have like you know you provided two answers. 我可以平时我可以坐公车来 right? Um, and 然后那个我的爸爸妈妈如果他们不上班，他们也可以开车送我来夏令营 That was very good. All right, I'm very confident, Christina. You're gonna do very well. <laughs> Let's move on to the next part. Okay. Um. So the second part, just quickly explain this to Matthew, is、uh, called culture presentation.、Uh, so the culture presentation part, they're gonna give you topics, and it's gonna be a、uh, a wide a a broad kind of a、uh, uh, topic, and then they're gonna suggest some specific topics.、Uh, in this case, we're gonna have、uh, um, one traditional Chinese art. Okay, and then they're gonna give you three examples: Peking opera, Chinese painting, Chinese calligraphy, etc. So, are you limited to those three specific Chin- Peking opera, Chinese painting, Chinese calligraphy, Matthew? No, it's like UTC. Right, you can do other things, right? So this is a suggestion. If any of these works really well for you, by all means, 
take it. Um, if uh, if you have no idea uh, what you talk about those those things, and uh, you have a you have a better idea Chinese art, what are the other Chinese art? Dragon dance, maybe. Or jianzhi. Or jianzhi. Yes, jianzhi. So then, uh, you know, you can you can talk about that. You don't have to do the suggested topics. All right. So I think that's a again that's a that's kind of like a. a a trap a lot of people fall into because they always they, oh uh, I have to talk about those three um and then in your all right let me play that choose one traditional Chinese art Peking opera Chinese painting Chinese calligraphy etc in your presentation describe this traditional art and explain its significance all right so four minutes prepare Let's start. You guys can both try to do an outline, and I'm gonna do one myself as well. Do we just think right now? Uh, you should get a piece of you paper and write, write it down. And Wait, does uh, Matthew have the checklist thing you gave us? Uh, yes. I uh, all the things probably that he didn't pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's okay, Matthew. Um, I think if you go to the YouTube video description of the previous lessons, there's going to be uh, a, I call the cultural presentation cheat list. So, or you can just like, you know, try, try, try to get a piece of paper, jog down some ideas, see what you can say. How long does our response have to be? Two minutes. <laughs> two minutes. Yes. Very scary two minutes. They should have put me in AP this year. About two minutes left.
All right, time is up. And then you have uh, two minutes to present. Christina, are you ready? Me? No. <laughs> I, I'll try. you try? Okay, Matthew, that's very brave. Hold on. <laughs> uh, okay, all right, Matthew, two minutes. This is the first time you do this, right? Yes, sir. All right, so it's, uh, um, I just want to say like the two minutes, um, you have to, you need to like, you know, later on, if you're taking AP and if you're taking exam, you need to grow a better sense of what, how long two minutes is and uh, what other stuff you can say, how much stuff you can say within two minutes. So this one, we're going to just lower the expectation and give it a try, do your best. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, okay. all right, let's go. Um Oh my god, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> uh, oh my god, I had so many things. Really. Yeah, so skip. Just don't care. Don't finish that. Just say something else that comes to your mind. Okay. What? Wo 去中国看京剧表演的话，你一定要把握机会。Yeah, that's like all I have to say. Okay, that was good. That was a good comeback. That was a good comeback. So again, the middle part, I just forgot what it, what I was gonna say. All right, so I'm just gonna give you a, a little bit of quick, quick analysis and some feedback. So the beginning part, um, I think you get a general idea how to do that, but the information was a little bit like scattered all over the place. Um, so there are a couple of like different strategies. You can say like, you know, 很多人都知道京剧,但是你知道京剧很难练习吗? You know, I think you said something like that. Um, so like, you know, you kind of like jumped to all over the place when you're doing the in intro, which is good. You have a lot of information, but uh, if you kind of like uh, get them more organized, I think it will be better. Um, and then the middle part, you kind of like get stuck, lost uh, thoughts. That's why uh, it's very important to keep uh, a sheet of notes. Um, I, I give you guys a kind of like the cheat sheet uh, outline so that you can use that to guide your presentation. Um, so the good thing is that you actually uh, have a good comeback uh, after you kind of like, oh, what am I going to say? That's the part, you know, that's the part that I like, worry the most if, if that happens to you, like how quickly can you recover, right? If you can quickly recover, you can still like, because like, you know, every minute that you, every second that you wasted by just like blanking out is going to significantly drop your grade down, right? And then it, the faster you can recover, move on to the next section, maybe you can save your uh, presentation and maybe you can get more points. Um, so the, the, and then you go to your personal experience. The personal experience is always going to be the easiest part that you can actually elaborate a lot. A lot of people can say a lot, roughly about like almost a minute 
when they start to talk about personal experience. That's a very valued, valuable way to elaborate and fill up your cultural presentation. And in the end, you kind of like come to a general kind of suggestion. Uh, you do have a sort of like conclusion. So that was good as well. All right, that, that's not bad for the first try. I think, you know, when you're doing that in the future next year, um, you can try to more capitalizing on personal experience, uh, working on the intro, get them a little bit more organized, and then like try to see what are the other things, what's the other one part. You need to have two body parts, a personal experience and the what. All right, um, once you get that section, I think your presentation is, you know, now like it's 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 generally in shape. Mm. So, Christina, mm. now it's your turn. <laughs> okay. All right. So, let's go. Two minutes. Start now. Uh, you have tried Jianzhi? Uh, you know Jianzhi is what? 是对中国人很重要的，因为他们会在不同的日子和节日剪纸。剪纸对他们的文化非常重要，而且有很长的历史。你们试过剪纸吗？剪纸其实是非常简单的，而且不需要用很多东西来做。呃，你只需要剪
two outline and uh, uh, just very quickly uh, introduction go from a big kind of topic to a smaller specific introduce your topic 在中国文化中有很多非常重要的传统文化 uh, uh, what's, what's the word? Chinese are uh, do, do they look for idioms? Well, I think a lot of times um, I, my guess is that if you use an idiom, it's going to be if you're on the edge, like if you're 5.5 5, and you throw in the idiom, that's going to help you secure a 6, boost you to 6 versus like the teacher maybe just said, yeah, it's pretty good, but like you know, it's pretty decent, but should I give that kid 6? You know? If you have an idiom that's gonna that might be a like a you know game changer, decision making changer between five or six. I mean it's always gonna help, right? Mm-hmm. So my intro is like uh I'm gonna reuse whatever they have uh over there, Beijing the Jingju, uh Gohua, Chung the Shufa Denden. And then throw a question, you So again, that should be about 20 to 30 seconds long. And then I'm going to do a kind of like a general introduction of Jianzhi, like Jianzhi 101 type of thing. Uh, I didn't have time to type Bai Se, so let me type Bai Se in. All right, Jianzhi, uh, I'm probably going to start with this. Uh, China uh, 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 and then uh, uh, I'm, I was going to move on to the the second part. I'm going to talk about like Ku Shu Lan. Uh, in Chinese class, we learned about a Chinese artist is a I was having a typo. I trying to find the right word, but uh, I couldn't. So I just leave the, leave the wrong word there. I think it's good enough. I would be I would know. Um so Ta Ta Chen Zi Shiga Jian Huanyang and then go to the personal experience. So I have like two personal experiences. The first one is more related to introducing a, a uh, um, representative, uh, you know, artist, and then going to my personal experience, my hands-on experience. I didn't have time to write anything, but, uh, you know, whatever Christina said, basically we can follow the plot like that. It's very difficult. In the beginning, it was boring, but later on, it got better, better, and in the end, I got really good, and I enjoy it, stuff like that. Um, and then in conclusion, conclusion, uh, I've been using that for all the presentations, basically. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, etc. So, you know, stuff like that. I don't know if it's going to get six, but I think it's going to be a solid five if you do stuff like that. And, uh, you know, that is not using any um, idiom at all. So, again, this is about like, you know, Go into a game, have a clear game plan, and you know what you're supposed to do. Um, you know, like when you're playing basketball, um, as a professional team, you're going to have sort of strategy. What you're going to be doing, instead of like we are playing just like street basketball, just like everybody's doing their own thing and improvising. Uh, we want to be like more pro AP Chinese students, and we have a specific plan. This is how we're going to tackle this problem. All right. So if you're watching this later on, I hope this is helpful because I think this is pretty uh, particularly good because we have like a real student response on the fly and uh, and uh, you know Christina did a very good job. Matthew, uh, as a first timer, you also did very well and uh, and you can see like you know 
Christina is a more seasoned player versus Matthew. <laughs> Matthew, he's a <laughs> newbie. But talented, there's a difference there, right? You just like, you have Chinese, but you don't know how to play this game versus you have both language and you know how to play the game. There's a big difference. No offense, Matthew. I hope, I'm pretty Matthew's sure. Chinese gonna, is better than mine though. I'm pretty sure Matthew is going to be phenomenal next year after like a season of practice and training. So again, you know, this has a lot, like this AP Chinese exam has so much to do with your preparation, like how, like knowing, knowing the task and knowing what you're supposed to do. And uh, I'm going to run now because I need to help my son to set up with uh, his online class. I hope this is helpful. And uh, maybe we're going to do another one. Hopefully next next uh, next uh, uh, next one is uh, Thursday, right? Thursday uh, yeah. for the next one. We're going to have a little bit more people. And uh, uh, see you guys next time. 再见. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay, Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye.